All right, we're gonna review the absolute basics of scripting in Unity. And this is uh, how to make your, your Unity game run code. So left click assets. I don't have this folder yet, so I'm gonna right click create folder scripts. This is just a good place to keep all of your scripts. So go in here, right click, create. There's these three, but we're gonna use C sharp script. I'm gonna call it game brain, enter. And see, it says public class game brain. That must match this name. If I change this name to something else, Unity is going to not be happy. And it's not going to work. So it has to be perfect, match perfectly. Come on. I want to rename it. There you go. So now I'm going to open it up in uh, Mono Develop. All right, so when game brain is attached as a component, it will run these pro appropriately. So update happens every time there's a frame. Start will happen just once at the very start. So what we're gonna do first is uh, try out debug.log5 and just see what this does. So I just wrote this and I'm gonna save it and go back into Unity. Now this script actually has to be attached to a game object. You could attach it to the player. I'm, I'm just going to make a new one. Create empty, or game object, create empty. I'm going to call it game brain. And so we click here, add components, game brain. So now that it's added, the thing I wrote here for start will actually happen. If game brain wasn't attached to anything, that start would never happen. So if I press start, what's going to happen? And if we click right here, console, we see that 5 came out, because that's what debug.log does. If there's ever a problem with your game or you're wondering what a number is while you're playing your game, then debug's a great way to see it. 